Hello everybody and welcome back. This is round nine of the 41st Chess Olympiad. We're live in Tromso, of course. Where else would we be? I'm Jan Gust <laughs> I'm not Jan Gustafsson. I read the screen and I saw your name. I'm like, you know that scene in Anchorman? you give away the secret that everything you say is written on a teleprompter? It's that scene in Anchorman where they put it on the set and he has to read every single word. <laughs> Same with me. Don't put up Jan Gustafsson. I'm not Jan Gustafsson. Maybe I wish I was. He's Jan Gustafsson. I'm Lawrence Trent. And What's this there? Well, these people. is a live stream of the FIDE assembly. Of course, the big news of today, Jan, the voting for the FIDE elections is taking place. Who is going to be? We'll get a new or an old president today. It's Kasparov or Yumshinov. I believe the votes have been done and they're being counted at the moment. So we see everybody waiting around, basically. Yeah. Big, big day in the world of chess. Who's going to win? Kasparov, Illusionov. We're not going to go too much into the politics, but certainly we'll keep you posted on any news. There's a lot of things going on. And uh, when we do find out a result, of course, we will mention it. Now, uh, we do have a very special guest with us today. He's very special because, well, look at him. <laughs> he, looks, he looks sharp. He's a very nice bloke as well. International Master Sam Collins from Ireland. Thank you very much. How Pleasure are you? to be here. Great. We're pl pleased to have you here. Thank you. Um, tell us a bit about what's going on with Ireland, because we have to be honest and say we, they haven't featured so much. No, no, that's fair. Um, well, we, we started very poorly. We lost to Sudan, who, uh, mm. who aren't a kind of chess powerhouse just yet, but are clearly quite promising coming up. But uh, we lost to Sudan in a match which Gary Kasparov stood around for and watched mm. uh, live and I think tweeted about subsequently. So, oh, my goodness. Um, that put us in a, in a bad position, but we're now uh, back up to around about our seating, we have, uh, we drew with Macedonia, or former Yugoslav Republic mm -hmm. of Macedonia, uh, yesterday. Yeah. And today we play Iran. Iran are a pretty big team, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So, should we check in on your teammates then, Sam? Yeah, see how please they're do. Doing? We've got here the game on board one, Alex Babur in black, <coughs> playing as Gan Magami, and uh, it looks as though Babs is doing all right. You call him Babs? No. Uh, you can call him Babs. You can call him uh, Tony Miles. Used to call him Seamus Oberborn in uh, honor of his Irish heritage. Right there. Um, <laughs> there you go. We'll call him Babs. Yeah. What's the language on the Irish team? Do you guys speak English to each other, or is it more? Like yeah, it's English. Uh, obviously, Alex speaks Russian. Uh, Alex Lopez speaks Spanish. Uh, Mark Heidenfeld and our team captain Jonathan O'Connor both speak German. Um, but we just go to the lowest common denominator, which is English. What's going on in the chess world? So globalized, a team from <laughs> Ireland, no Liam or Cunningham's in there. No, no, not yet. And Let's have a look at the position. What we got here, we've got Baburin, opposite color bishops. Just got to be a bit careful about uh, not falling for some tactics down the D file. I mean, for example, I look at Queen D2. Queen D2. And what, how do I, I think you have to jettison that pawn. Ah, I see. I understand everything. You play e3, and after queen takes e3, you can just move. This is actually pretty. Queen a8. Queen a8. It looks like you're almost winning material with queen d3, but there is the very nasty bishop to e4. Oof. Mm. Nice. <coughs> and the, the things have gone wrong for white. Mm. Not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Just to show That's all of a sudden black is an exchange up. So yeah. Baburin looks like he's holding his own against Guy Magemi, very solid player. I like this book Baburin wrote, what's it called, Winning Pawn Structures? Yeah, it's a great book uh, about uh, the isolated Queen's Pawns. It's really a misleading title, it's only one pawn structure he covers, but he covers that one very well, I really learned a lot from that book. Why wasn't it called Isolated Queen's Pawns? Well, they just never are, I mean, you know, it's like Ivan Sokolov wrote, wrote uh, winning chess middle games, which was even more misleading, which was about the same subject matter. I think they just pick whatever combination of winning strategy, winning chess. Winning with the IQP? You want, a, you want the secrets in there as well. Winning chess secret strategies, can I do yeah. the title of my book? <laughs> You've I'm, written a couple of books, haven't you, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, Any strategy secrets in there? 
Uh, absolutely not. Certainly none which I think you would uh, you'd learn anything from me on this. No, I, I've, I've read one of them. It was about gambits. Did you? Okay, well, yeah. that's, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it really wasn't written with you in mind, Jan. I mean, no, I, I liked it. I mean, normally I like, prefer playing against the gambits and taking that pawn, but there yeah. was quite a bit of pawn grabbing in there as well. So I like that. I forgot oh. what it's called. Winning chess gambit strategies, I think. <laughs> All right, uh, so Babs looks like he's doing just about all right there. What about ball two? This is a very interesting end game. I think ball Alex two. Lopez should be doing all right. It's one of those positions, yeah, where you get two pawns and a knight versus a rook, so more or less equal material, but the knight's got a good outpost on d5. You can get the pawns rolling, or can you? That's the big point. Maybe you can never get them rolling with g5, f4. You're I'm thinking... Well, thinking g4 here, but then you throw it no, in e3 check. check. Yeah, you can't do that. to f4, no, that's and the pawns are quite far advanced. Yeah, you can't do that. So what can you do? Well, I think you just wait and say, if the king can't ever really come up with c6 falls, or maybe you have to give it up. But what do you think, sir? Yeah, I think that's a, a great position for Alex to get. I mean, he's outrated by about 200 points. He's playing mm. black. He's not intimidated by... I mean, Alex is a very talented player, so he... He's gotten results against guys like this in the past, but no, I mean, looking at that position, I think um, if black sits and waits, I don't see how the white rook can enter, e even theoretically. And uh, yeah, I think that that plan of just pushing the pawns seems to be quite uh, quite solid. I mean, I guess the problem is that once you once you achieve f4, e4 is going to be hanging. You can't yeah. bring your king to e5 because e6 is hanging. So it does seem to be quite balanced. But uh, yeah, so you could try though putting your king on e5, sacrificing c6, yeah. going f4. Yeah. But then you're losing a6 also, maybe, and... Yeah, uh, it never works. Because the have king is... Oh, yeah, I've tried it. <laughs> uh, it never works. It never works. No, the problem is the king always... You, you need that king to support the pawns. And as soon as it comes to the fourth rank, you give a check with the rook. Right. So, I mean, the, the, the knights and the pawns don't work on their own. Okay. Trust me. Okay, we'll trust you on that one. Uh, so it's equal. It's equal, yeah. I think, that, I think Alex will draw. What Let's about Mark Mark Heidenfeld. <clears throat> Mark is, is he doing all right as well? What's going on here? Mm -hmm. This is the guy, is he the German or living in Germany? At least yeah, he's living, German yeah, he's living in, living in Germany. Mm -hmm. He's uh, living in, he actually, he works, uh, he works in Hamburg during the week, so oh, uh, which I, I guess is where you guys are based. Yeah, so. I don't even know that. Um, he's around. And yeah. what's his position like? Well, let's just do a pawn count. It's equal. I equal pawns. did it in my head. Okay. And... What? If you're black, what's the idea? You want to play rook Get rid B, of one D8, of those rooks. Rook bd8 and just... Uh, well, why is to move? Let's make a move. Rook bd8. You have to be careful. You want to go rook bc8, but there's always this typical tactic, rook takes f7. And no mm -hmm. matter what rook you take, you lost a pawn. Yeah, you want to go rook bd8. Anyway, to occupy the open file, if you can. Okay. Equal. Yeah. yeah. I would say that's pretty balanced. That's Absolutely. So this is going great for the Yeah, so guys. far, so far. What about the bottom board? Colm Daly. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Is Colm, isn't he, has he got a nibble here? Looks like he's got a bit of a nibble to me. Yeah, it's like just better, kind of classic, better French for white, I would have thought. Um, the pawn on c2 isn't that weak. I mean, it's much more significant to have the knight on d4, which can't be touched. And this rook on f8 is extremely ugly. I think white's better. I think well, this could be a win for the Irish. Absolutely. Well, it seems like I could be rested more often now. <laughs> I, I've been the problem. <laughs> uh. Well, I think uh, I think it would be a, a huge result for the Irish to, to beat the Iranians today. There we have Mark Heidenfeld pondering. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Looks focused for sure. <laughs> it does look focused, doesn't it? I'm not sure about his shirt, though. I have to say. But apart from that... Nice bloke. It's certainly a nice bloke. And the shirt, the stripes, we're just trained not to wear them because we're on not TV allowed. they look strange. Yeah, we can't wear stripes on TV. Really? I've got a lot yeah. of stripy shirts, but uh, I've had to keep them all in at home. Yeah. Mm. You can't, you just look like you're having a, some sort of, your body is it has this melting. hypnotizing effect. Yeah, hypnotizing. We can't hypnotize our audience anymore. <laughs> so, what about this guy? Yeah, okay, this, this, this guy can also play, of course. Of course, um, we're talking about Dragon. Would he improve Sholak the Irish team? As well. He <laughs> yeah. would. Both if, would. If he has a grandfather or a great-great-grandfather who, uh, 
who came from Ireland, then I'm, I'm sure we can me. arrange membership. Mm. Wouldn't surprise you me. You heard it here first. Ireland is pursuing Magnus Carlsen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And yes. willing to pay a, a serious fee for him as well. I believe NRK will have their hands full breaking that story. <laughs> Let's what see how he's got? doing. I don't like his position. I really don't. What's this king doing in the middle of the board? Big trouble, Magnus Carlsen. Mm. And I'd say that uh, in, in English. In English. No, I, I say that with some surprise, is what I... Can he, has he castled, or he can't castle, or what's going on? He hasn't castled yet, as you can see by the fact his king is on e1. He could castle to either side, but none looks very promising, So if he castles does it? short? Oof. There's no, no shelter. Yeah, but what to do? I agree, I think he's just in trouble. He is a pawn up. But that's yeah, but bishops, look at these bishops. I, I, I agree, and I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah, there are problems also with, I don't know, I thought queen e6 was, was something because I didn't see that b3 was protected, but I don't know, queen e6. Uh, queen e6, why not? Looks like a perfectly good <coughs> move, bishop g4, even going somewhere with the bishop, queen a3. Well, bishop, bishop d3 might be a threat. Bishop d3 could um, be a threat very well. Yeah. Clearly, that's what I was thinking. I yeah, just, of course. Uh, yeah. Just didn't it was in your right. subconscious. Yeah. That's why. So yeah. you know, I'm not. I'm not sure saying it works, but it's uh, it's something you have to consider. Yeah. If you took that, you're probably going mate, right? Queen g4, yeah. king h1, queen h3. How do we mate? Well, it's one mate and one on the board. Mm -hmm. That's normally how we mate. What do you think then, Sam? Is he going to lose? Well, I mean. Uh, I think Magnus has uh, gotten results from much worse positions than that, but it's certainly, uh, the pawn is pretty cold comfort. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's a remarkable position for him to have. Uh, Let's just go back to the current position because it is interesting watching this. What's he going to do, really? His king can't go anywhere. That's what I'm saying, Jan. King. And Jan Ludwig Hammer, look at that. He doesn't look happy at all, does he? He said, like, what on earth is going on? What yeah. are you doing? Well, if he was responsible for the opening prep, then uh, there might be consequences. Well, who knows? But how did he get this? I mean, it was so uh, well, sort of after that time and it was very quiet. And bit of a random opening, but a quiet position. And it heat, heated up. Uh -huh. So the past tense of heat heated. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure. This g4, g5 might have been a little optimistic already. Inviting this knight e4, f5 operation that happened. Don't know. g4, we see it all over the place in many calmer positions. But of course, white had the choice to just play a quiet game here with castles or queen c2, take it from there. Bit out of character for Magnus, isn't it, to go for? Yeah, it's, it's a Mamajarov uh, speciality. Right. Really. I think even in this tournament, he won a game with, with an early G4. And it was a just, very nice game against yeah. Ivan Isovich, just crushed him out of the opening. Yeah. So we get this, knight d2, f5. Good move. Not taking is the natural move, but knight takes f6 and a quick e5. Looked like black was doing okay. Carlson played h4, but that's kind of admitting something has gone a little wrong, hasn't it? Yeah, it's going to take a long time to open the king side for, well, if white tries to do it, but clearly black can uh, push f4 whenever. No, I think black is, uh, mm. right, f4, I like it, a4. Something like this happened, f4, Sholag not, not very shy. I don't think you can be shy here, Jan, I think you've got to grab your chance. Open it up, it's the right thing to do. I think you're right. So, takes, takes, bishop takes, d4, knight e5, we said that's a good move. He played a b5 here, and then Sholak playing great chess. He didn't take that because that, but knight d3 check, that's a great move. That's a very good move, actually. Yeah, I like it. Giving up a pawn, but opening the position for his two bishops. But he took played bishop f5 oh, he first. He went bishop f5 first, yeah. queen e2. I think he's playing very well, C Sholak. B5. I think he's playing very well. I'm hmm. not going to bet against Sholak here. I think a lot of I'm happy to take Carlson if you War for Carlson win? Trollic. Depends on the price, but yeah. Well, I'll give you even money. Okay. 
Oh, of course, even monopoly money. Even monopoly money, of course, is what we're talking about. <laughs> that, but he has to win, and it's for a Diet Coke. Uh, monopoly in Norway? In, not in Norway. Okay, okay. All right, now I think Sholak's going to... Yeah, I'm a big Carlsen fan, as everybody knows, but this position is so uncomfortable to play with White. It really is. Shall we have a look at the top match? Yes. Sam, what do you think is going to win this Olympiad with the current standings? It's, it's very hard to tell. I mean, like, uh, the, the traditional favorites seem to be falling behind slightly now. I think China and France are uh, big favorites at the moment. But um, Russia have, well, Russia have never really been a favorite for this event, despite their paper advantage. They, they just don't seem to have come close recently. Yeah, I think Russia is out of it. They already lost five match points. Even if they won their remaining matches, five points down normally has not been enough to win the Olympiad. Mm. I was saying earlier, I believe it's China, France, Ukraine, or Azerbaijan. Those are the teams in the lead who have been looking best so far. Let's check with China, Ukraine. Well, Big hold match. on a second. We've had three draws. Unbelievable. Wang Yue, Vasily Ivanchuk, draw. Ponomaryov, no Ding Lurin. They're all queen endings. Uh, Ponomaryov. Ding Loren, draw. I love how you say Ding Loren, by the way. Ding Loren? No, I think you pronounce it correctly. It just sounds very good. Oh, right. Is it? I don't know if I do pronounce it correctly. Ding Loren. And then we've got a draw on board three, meaning they are, the, the Chinese are resting their hopes on the Wunder Kit, the Wunderbar Kit. What? Can you say that? No. Wunder Kind. Which Wunder Kind. Wunder kind. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, one of a kind. No, no, it's just, I happen to have that one word. And it's going to be a draw. He sacked a rook, but he's managed to get a perpetual check. Is this uh, over? Let's yeah, see. Yeah, it's, it's King a draw. D1. It's, it's very easily a draw. Queen A1 check is a draw. I bet. I hope Queen A1. Or Queen E2 and Queen C4 or, and mm -hmm. Queen B4. and Yeah, it's a draw. So queen E2, King C1, yeah, Queen C4. Queen, C4. queen B4. You just keep checking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've got a, the steady cam there, ladies and gentlemen, on Moisienko. That's Alexander Moisienko. What is he under time pressure? He looks very flustered. What's going on here? Can we get a time Maybe he thought he was winning, and now he figured out it's not so easy. Doesn't have a lot of Ooh, options. He, ah, he played queen e3. Wow. He's, you can take that and go f2, winning the rook back. Oh, my God. He didn't take it. Why didn't he take? Oh, oh, maybe queen, we have the wrong position. No, 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 no. This is the correct position. Queen a1 still draws. Oh, why did he take? Well, let's have a look at this ending. Doesn't look that winning, does it? It's a pawn. Pawn up. What? King f7. Not sure if it's winning, but only black can win this. Where you must just have just missed a brain this, or I'm not sure what's going on. Can we just get a check on that, please, Jan, on the... the what do you times, want to check? The times. How, how long... What they've both got because that's crucial. That's absolutely crucial. And remember, you can see that by clicking on the board, ladies and gentlemen. If you're on that match, Moisienko is in time trouble. He has one minute twenty-five seconds left. Where he has plenty of time, which makes it more surprising. Yeah, he just banged out Queen that's I one. That's a shame. That's a shame because Queen takes e three was. So what's going on now? King d two. It's a draw, isn't it? Queen B2. It's a perpetual. And if you come up Hang to... On, we got break. Breaking news. Breaking news. Let's go straight there, ladies and gentlemen. Are they announcing the new FIDE president? What? We will get that video up. <laughs> yeah, no campaign, yeah, well, now campaign. Now campaign. We're going to experiment with 61 votes. And there were four votes that were in that. Oh my goodness. Wow. A crushing defeat. That's a serious margin. That's a huge margin. 110. 110 to 61. Kirsani Yumshinov, the old feeder president, is also the new feeder president, won the election. 110 for Yumshinov. 61 for Kasparov. Oh, wow. What a huge margin that is. I don't think anybody expected it to be that large. 
and we can see the Kirsten Illuminov saying thank you clearly to his supporters. Heartbreak for the Kasparov camp. What can we say? Slightly shocked at that result. Whom did Ireland support, Sam? What's your uh, take on this? Kasparov. Kasparov was uh, our federation's endorsement. Um, I think he did slightly better than Karpov, though, if I remember correctly. I think Karpov might have got 55 votes. Yeah, Karpov. Uh, except there are more, there are more countries this, this year, though. There, there yeah. are so many additional countries, so maybe on a percentage basis. Right. Yes. Still, it's almost a two to one margin. It's, it's huge. huge. Yeah, it is huge. Year. It's a huge margin. There we see Moisenko, Wei Yi, yeah. shaking hands, draw a great four draws, four quick draws, one has to say, yeah. in this match, 2-2. Two, two. And Wei Yi, I'm quite surprised he didn't at least consider Queen takes E3 in playing that rook ending. Yeah, uh, well, a draw for the Chinese is also very good, of course, because Ukraine, their nearest rivals, managed to stop them at least, and they're still in control. Uh, the, the, of this Olympiad. That said, the likes of France, Czech Republic, if they do win, Romania yeah, no, has a lot of team can catch, catch, they can up, catch them up. And with two rounds to go. Moisienko looks devastated there, talking to his captain. Was he winning earlier? Let's have a brief look. Never no, I don't like think he was ever winning this game. No. No, it no, looks like a pretty fourth rookie sequence, one, rookie nice one, move. nice move. Yeah. Perpetual check. Yeah, absolutely. So, a good result for the Chinese. 2-2. Uh, 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Let's get back to our guest and yes. Ireland. Can you tell us a bit about the chess scene in Ireland? I know you have this one tournament in Banretti. Else, how's chess played in? Yeah, well, we've got the uh, probably the strongest weekend tournaments in the world, I suppose. So, we've got Banretti and Kilkenny, um, and Bunradi, uh, Peter Svidler has won several times, Kilkenny, Michael Adams has won several, several times, uh, Ivan Shaparinov has been over, Lawrence has been you know, an honoured guest on many occasions. <laughs> Must be the strongest in the world, oh, yeah. Lawrence went there. I don't think that you've been there yet. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I'd love to go. Yeah, well, I've heard good things about it's a great Ireland. Tournament. I heard you have this stone where if you kiss it you get eloquent speech, yeah, the, which would help me tremendously. Yeah, the Blarney Stone. Right. That, have you kissed the these weekend tournaments? Kissed the, the Blarney, Blarney Stone. No, I've never kissed the Blarney Stone. I, I, I was told I, it wasn't necessary. What, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But, uh, no, I've never kissed it, actually. Um, and I got breaking news the other day, sunshine in Dublin. That's incredible. Well, that, that, that's inevitable because we're all abroad, so oh, you know, okay. the rain needs to let up at some point. And mm. It's chosen this time. Yeah, absolutely. And um, what about you, Sam, personally? You're 24.95. You have two grand arsenals, I understand. Yep. So is that is that what's going on at the moment? One big result, and you're there. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, you know, there there are a lot of guys like that. You know, you're kind of on the cusp. So uh, yeah, if I make if if I make it, well, I won't make a GM norm here. But if I made one in the next tournament, then that would be the title. But uh, I still haven't been over twenty five hundred. So oh right, that's even kind virtually, of, even. You mean in Blitz or No, live? virtually, as in live. Uh, oh, live yeah, no, meeting. no, no, I haven't. Okay. Um, yeah, but yeah, one, one big result. Like, but you're, uh, you're getting quite so you're close. Yeah, we're, we're, almost, we're, all, we're, we're almost there. Sam's a bit closer, but uh, yeah. I'm Hopefully always happy to celebrate. take action against Lawrence. So if you guys want to <laughs> make a bet who becomes a grandmaster first and you need a backer, let me know anytime. <laughs> Very good. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but, uh, well, look, we wish you all the luck, all the best. I'm sure you're going to make it pretty soon. I wish you all the best, of course, and the Irish team, I should say. We're going to give you a goodie bag, a Chess 24 goodie bag, oh, wow. full of lots of exciting stuff. <laughs> Coffee mugs, they're always useful. Travel mugs, pens, can never have enough pens. A bit like underwear. And uh, maybe pens are more important. And uh, yeah, just uh, we hope we see you clinch that title. Very well, thank you very, very much. Very enjoyed soon. it. We've enjoyed having you here. Good luck to the Irish. Thanks, Sam Collins. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, we'll see guys. you soon. Cheers. All right. Sam Collins there. Uh